Guys, welcome to Running Gun Tarot, the number one tarot channel in the world. We are looking at a lot of things today, all signs. Just had breakfast, looking kind of crazy. Can you tell I had a rough night? Um, <clears throat> we are looking at all signs for the Creative Collective Unconscious. The first two cards that came out were the full card in reverse and the strength card in reverse. To me, this says live a little. Uh, the full card in reverse is about hesitance and reticence to take a leap of faith. The Leo strength card in reverse is internal discipline. Maybe you've been holding too tightly on to internal discipline um, and not kind of letting things ride. Um, astrologically speaking, <clears throat> the full card... Um, is ruled by let's see Uranus we have the planet Uranus which has to do with change and rebellion speaking of uh, living a little is in Taurus until July 7th 2025 so we have a window in time a window of opportunity to really shake things shake things up and really change things up excuse me um, Uranus and Taurus till 2025. Uh, it's been in there since March 6, 2019. Um, the house of Taurus is the second house of money, work, income, daily routines, values, material possessions, priorities, habits, um, your job and work ethic. So um materials you know what, what you own uh possessions money work income values your work ethic there's a big shake up there, there's a big kind of window obviously we know this past 2020 um things kind of just completely altered and revamped um and so this window of you know kind of uh carving out your own path and your career path and the way in which you go about work matters is existent until 2025. Um, so, you know, microcosmically, macrocosmically, the full card in reverse is like, what are you waiting for, dum dum? Um, you know, we have uh, Saturn and Aquarius. So there could be this feeling of having the belt buckle really tightened um, until 2023, until March 2023. Uh, it may have felt this way since this past December. According to Saturn, um, <clears throat> from what I read, this is going to be a very big kind of aspect in regards to, you know, who, who the team is that you're moving forward with. But uh, Aquarius has to do with, you know, all things, uh, you know, future, future and ideally projected. Um, in astrology, it is the 11th house of groups, friends, social awareness, humanitarianism technology, hopes, wishes, the future. So you have Saturn, this disciplinarian kind of restrictive energy um, in this house. So that's going to be affecting you in general until 2023. Um, you could kind of see it in social media with social justice warriors and kind of far left liberalism and um, you know, woke culture and cancel culture. That's going to exist for a while now. So um, but what else can we say? I mean, nonetheless, the cards are asking you to live a little. Uh, let's see, we covered Uranus's relationship with Aquarius. So we saw what house and what ruling planet was correlated with uh, Uranus and Taurus. Second house, money, material possessions. Um, and then we're also looking at the, because again, Aquarius, this is a full card energy of Aquarius, ruling planet Uranus. Uh, so we're also looking at what planets are in Aquarius, and we spoke to Saturn being in Aquarius as well. Um, that being said, point zero of the tarot, you can't, you know, you miss 100% of the starts that you don't take. Uh, this is like a false start energy, and, and life or, you know, the cosmos is telling you to really jump for it. Um, so take that leap of faith. Uh, in, in regards to work, money, material goods and possessions, uh, you know, family, group, friend dynamics and whatnot is probably a little bit 
um, I shouldn't say f- uh, family, I should say friends, social awareness, group dynamics. That's a little bit less in the kind of risking department just because Saturn's involved. Um, so you, you're not going to want to make major risks in regards to, um, you know, your social awareness. And especially if it's a t- it's tied to money, um, routines and things of that nature. <sighs> You know, a lot can kill you uh, in regards to words and what you articulate and communicate out there into the world nowadays. So be smart about your risks, I would say, you know, obviously, Um, but still take them nonetheless. Um, Let's see, the strength card in reverse has to do with Leo. Eights are about abundance and new starts as well. The golden backgrounds are gifts from the cosmos blessings <clears throat> but you know faith without works is is kind of uh, dead in the water there so uh strength card in reverse we have leo energy on deck leo is fifth house of play fun relaxation leisure romance um love creativity childlike spirit self-expression drama joy fertility so there's a lot going on again since the lion is involved here leo the lion um, we have the moon in Leo. The moon is in regards to emotional security, uh, maternal energies, um, you know, your comfort zones. So there's going to be a lot of emotionally um, until the 13th of this month. Let's see, we're currently, there's going to be a need uh, until tomorrow. So whenever you see this. Um, but again, feel free to apply this beyond. The moon moves through uh, signs rather fast. Um, you know, we're talking like three days at a time here. So take it for what it's worth. Your emotions might feel, you know, tied up to, you know, pridefulness, characteristics of Leo. Um, and, you know, ruminating or kind of expressing in regards to all the, you know, sectors that we or all the aspects that we mentioned in the Leo sector. Romance, love, fair play. Um, creativity, fertility, all this stuff. So the playfulness and emotional expression, love and romance. Uh, Venus is in Leo. This is uh, money as well. This is desire and relationships. So you might have a playful aspect in relationships. Mars is in Leo, so think, you know, maybe like a romantic vacation. Um, Mars is a planet of action <clears throat> and motivation. So your actions and motivation might be inspired by this kind of creative, fun, play, playful spirit. Um, and, and that's what these cards are asking. You know, these cards are asking that you have a fun, playful approach to the leap and the, and the calculated risks that you take. Um... It doesn't have to just be kind of adulting 24-7. You could, you know, still remember why you're doing this, you know. And I think in part, it's um, it's to have fun with your creative expression uh, in this realm. You know, for as long as we're, we're here to express and contribute, hopefully. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, yeah. So the stuck energy. This is Sagittarius. This is Jupiter energy. Jupiter is currently in Pisces. Jupiter is expansion, abundance, luck, growth. Um, the ruling house of the rules, I should say. Uh, the ninth house, travel, wisdom, philosophy, higher education, law, religion, culturalism, um, cross cultural, excuse me, cross cross cultural relations, uh, learning ethics. So <clears throat> a lot going on there in that ninth house. Um, in the reverse, you know, there's this stuck energy. The wheel is stuck. Um, the characteristic of Sagittarius is, you know, pull that bow back and and fire that arrow in the direction of, you know, uh, all these aspects. 
But in particular, I mean, since Jupiter's in Pisces until, let's see, I'm looking at this chart here at all this information that I'm giving you. Uh, Tarot.com, shout out. <clears throat> Planetary tracker. Jupiter's in Pisces until 2021, till July 28th. So this aspect is going to be, you know, Pisces' 12th house. Endings, healing, closure, spirituality, solitude, karma, old age, afterlife, what's hidden, limiting beliefs, self-conscious. So you're going to be doing a lot of work in this area. You're going to be trying to expand uh, your, your philosophical limitations or your kind of like cultural understandings. Um, you know, uh, ethical issues, relations. Uh, probably with people from different backgrounds. You're going to be kind of healing, uh, you know, these areas and trying to expand upon your own understanding of karma and spirituality and your own kind of, you know, limiting belief systems. So that's kind of what's being asked is to kind of reapproach um how you're looking at your own personal growth and expansion here and, and the cards are just kind of like screaming like please like be excited get excited about life like there's like you haven't even scratched the surface Tony Robbins always says is this the beginning or is this the end it's up to you and yeah maybe you have to go into that kind of depression state I once heard Jim Carrey say, uh, you're, de you're depressed because you're wanting deep rest. Your avatar, the character that you've been playing is, you know, shedding its skin and needs to come to an end. So it's kind of interesting that Jupiter is doing that in Pisces until the 28th, uh, in which case I believe it moves to um, Aries. That is insane. Is Jupiter moving... Or is it moving to, excuse me, uh, not Aries, um, Aquarius. So, after the um, 28th of this month. So, uh, this is an energy of uh, clearing the air. Um, Aquarius is an open-minded sign, uh, you know, and this is an energy of seeing clearly, again, expansion and growth, especially in regards to, uh, you know, friends and, uh, you know, social awareness. So that, that restraint and that restriction that we're seeing from Saturn in Aquarius is going to be balanced out with new understanding um, and wisdom from Jupiter moving into Aquarius as well. So you should start to see things pick up as well um, after uh, July, moving into August, which is very cool. And, you know, obviously with the world opening back up. So now's the time to kind of risk things, take fun, happy, calculated risks, you know, revisit old belief systems or limitations and um, <clears throat> very good, very good. Let me see, is there anything else? I know this kind of went on a long time, but you guys are getting a lot of good information. Feel free to reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Okay, Four Pentacles is out here. So automatically this tells me to like revise like you know your understanding and your limitations of finances as well. Four of Pentacles is about stability. This is Capricorn energy. This is holding on to something, possibly too tightly at times. When you're holding on too tightly, you can't allow something to come in. Um, you can't have fun with it. You can't play with it. Capricorn is 10th house <clears throat> ruler. and has to do with career, long-term goals, structure, status, reputation, public image, masculinity, men, fathers, experts, fame. So this is really kind of expanding your knowledge base. Um, you know, letting go of the way that you used to do things and uh, having fun and being a little bit more playful um, with what it is that you do, which can be something completely new and different from your traditional you know, job and 
way of going about certain things. But, so that's what I have for the collective creative unconscious. Um, as of now, um, I appreciate you humoring me. Um, sorry, not sorry, you know, for that rolling out of bed look, but um, it is what it is. Tarot Life 2021. Um, all my info is in the description box below on the website. However, one-on-one -on -one reading and hope you guys got something out of this video. Peace.